Good morning everybody, Spider Richard here, and today we're doing another video on Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and today we're looking at the Master of Arms medal. Earn all campaign weapons, attachments, and camos. When you play through the campaign, you will have an option to select your weapon. You will also have the option to select weapons which you can unlock at higher levels. If you go to the armory, you can have a look and see which ones you have unlocked by pressing one. You can see here I've got one of the, uh, in fact, I've got two of the submachine guns. And here are the sights and here are the attachments. You can view which ones you've actually unlocked by just clicking on them and going through them. You can also back out of this and then check which camouflages you've got for your gun by pressing Y on the gun and it will go to the camo screen and then you can see how many you need. Essentially, all you need to do to unlock everything for each gun is get 650 kills. A very daunting task scene is there are plenty of weapons that you must do this for. So I'm going to show you something that will make it a little easier to get this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our wild cards and we are going to select this wild card called overkill which allows you to take a primary weapon as a secondary weapon. As well as this, if you're playing solo, we've also got our little tack rig here, which is called Emergency Reserve, which means if you get downed, it will pick you up automatically, and you will not have to restart from a checkpoint. So what I've done is I've made a load of loadouts with weapons that I'm going to be using to uh, to get the uh, the 650 kills. So you can see here I've got a bunch of submachine guns, and I've got two of the assault rifles. This will allow us to switch easily in the campaign. Now, I would strongly advise that you just play through the campaign and enjoy yourself because it is quite a lot of killing that you're going to have to do. But if you are looking for a part to grind out these kills, a good weapon, a good level to do this on is life. The final level. Level 11. Mission 11, sorry. Once you've loaded up the mission, set it on recruit difficulty because we are just going for kills. We don't need to be on certain difficulties to do this and we want this to be as easy as possible. Make your way through the mission until you get to the point where you have to take out the ASPs in front of the giant building. Uh, what you can do is you can grab yourself a rocket launcher and make taking them out a hell of a lot easier from here. There's also a hell of a lot of heavy weapons which you can use. Once you get to the final ASP that you must kill, do not destroy it. Whatever you do, just do not destroy it and go in this little building on the right hand side which has a door just meow. Then what you're going to do is you're going to kill one of the robots outside and robots will continue to spawn in these little 3D printer like things. And you can just keep killing and killing and killing and killing and they will pop out in front of you and it is a pretty easy place. You can even shoot from the hip and just keep doing this over and over again. It is a fantastic place to farm as the enemies do not stop coming. They're always in front of you and they cannot shoot you unless of course they sneak up behind you which is very rare and if it's on recruit they die straight away. Like I said before though, I personally think that you should just play through the game a few times and enjoy yourself because this way is a mind-numbingly boring way to do it. Once you start running out of ammo, there is an easy spot where you can reload both of your guns which is just behind you if you go in this little doorway down here and do a quick slide and then grab yourself some of the ammo from here and then you can get back to your little farming spot where you are going to keep on killing and killing and killing. Unfortunately, there is no way to actually know just how many uh, of the robots you have killed and if they stop spawning, just go outside, kill a couple of them and go back inside and you should see them uh, coming out of the walls once again. In order for these kills to count, you cannot quit out of the uh, mission. You will have to finish the mission. So once you've finished here, do the pack the panel, destroy the ASP and finish the mission completely in order to let these kills count. Some faster enemies to kill are the talents outside. They require one shot in order to go down, and there are plenty of them. The only problem is they're quite uh, quite agile and quite easy, like hard to shoot when you uh, when you're just aiming in the sky. And uh, they do continuously spawn, and there are quite a few of them. So you can rack up more kills this way a bit faster. However, you may be under constant fire from that ASP. After you've been grinding with the two guns that you uh, you have for however long, uh, I usually do it about 20 minutes at a time, go to the mobile armory which is right next to the beginning of the area and you can swap your loadout to something different. Also, if you get downed and you swap your loadout, the uh, the tack rig will work again so you can, uh, you can keep getting downed, going back to the mobile armory and reinstalling the tack rig. So that is my video on how to do this if you want to just grind out a few of the kills from a nice safe little spot and have the enemies continuously come towards you. Uh, like I said, I would, it's much easier to just play through the game and enjoy yourself rather than do this because it is a bit mind numbingly boring. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Best of luck getting this one. Let me know if you found any better farming spots. I will catch you later. Bye!